Hey, what's up? Uh, geez, that felt so weird. Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to this streaming tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to use Streamlabs chatbot to turn your TTS commands in chat specifically on Twitch, but you can use it for Mixer, you can use it for YouTube, uh, probably even Facebook. I haven't tried Facebook, but you can use TTS commands in chat to play sound files on your computer. So you can make your chat play memes or songs or uh, just fun little sound effects. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> now, I don't see a lot of streamers actually using this technique, so it definitely stands out from the rest. But since this video, maybe it's going to be more common and frequent. I'm not too sure. Now, I did see a streamer using this system, and I tried to figure out how they used this TTS command in Twitch chat to be able to play sound effects and things like that. It just made the stream a lot more interactive, a lot more fun for sure. I had a stream a couple of days ago. Chat absolutely loved it. It, 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 uh, <laughs> it encouraged engagement significantly and I had a lot of fun. It, it gave me quite a lot of laughs and I know chat enjoyed it as well. No, God! <laughs> No, God, please, no, no, no. Oh, that meme. No! By the way, you should come check it out. I'm probably live right now as this video is live on Twitch. First link in the description, come say hi. If you do have any issues with setting the system up, you can come and ask me live. So you got that. But let's jump in real quick. Uh, a lot of people aren't using this, so I thought I'm going to show you guys how to use it and uh, maybe leave a sub in return. I don't know. But uh, a lot of techniques on this channel, I show how to grow your stream, make it healthy, also make it professional, make it stick out from the rest. But yeah, let's jump in. Okay, so I have Streamlabs chatbot already installed. I'm not gonna show you how to do the whole process because it's literally straightforward, even a dummy can do it. Once you've downloaded it from their website, which I'll include the link in the description, go ahead and log in with your credentials from Twitch or Mixer or YouTube, whichever platform you plan to stream from and you're going to see this now you probably won't see this because you may not be connected already so make sure that you use this connections button here connect to your twitch or mixer or whatever you want to stream from and click connect now one other thing before you get started is you want to go to the settings button here and you want to auto connect on launch that way you don't have to constantly go into the connections here and connect every single time so make sure that you go to your settings here, check this on so that it connects on automatically once you open up Streamlabs chatbot. That way it connects automatically and you don't have any issues with that. Keep in mind that when you want to use these text-to-speech commands or text-to-audio commands, you can have many different words of saying it. You have to make sure that you have Streamlabs chatbot open whenever you're streaming so that you can actually hear that audio. If you don't have this Streamlabs chatbot open whilst you're streaming and someone types in a TTS command in chat, it's not going to work. For example, if I pull in my OBS studio here and you can see that uh, my chat is right here. If I type in exclamation mark hi, Yo, what's up? it'll play that text to speech command that I have set up. So the way I'm going to show you how to do that and to set permission parameters so that let's say you only want your subscribers to be able to use this or maybe only followers. Here's how we're going to set that up. So first you got to set up the sounds that you want to have in your Streamlabs chatbot. For example, let's go to sound files. You can see I already have sound files here. Let's say you want to add one. We go to the plus sign here. You can choose your name. You can choose the volume at which you want it to be at. So on average, mine are about 80 and you can pick the sound file. So navigate onto your computer, find the file you want, open that and you can even preview it so you can see how loud it will sound and you can adjust the audio and preview it again. Now you can choose which group you want to add it to. So you can choose I've already created one here or you can just type in a new one. I'm going to make sure automatically generate command is checked off and then I'll just click submit. So once that is created, it'll appear up here. Now that you have that sound file imported into Streamlabs chatbot, you can see actually with all the volume settings here as well. What we're going to do is we're going to go to commands. So you can see I've already got a bunch of these set up, but let's create a new one. And let's say the command must be exclamation mark good, just for an example. 
You can choose how much it can cost. So uh, points when people are viewing your channel, they continue to receive points. So you can choose how much points it'll cost. I'm gonna do zero because I just wanna keep it nice and easy. The usage will be in stream chat and make sure that it is enabled, so true. You can choose what group you want it under. Uh, that's not a huge important thing to click. Now permission, you can either choose everyone you can choose a VIP, you can choose only a subscriber, you can choose user specific. So let's say only one of my moderators, let's say Lipster09. By the way, you should check him out, Lipster09 at Twitch. I've also told him to implement this tool and here's an example of what it looks like on his stream. Someone... Hey, is this feature you telling you to change the scene? Hey, there we go. Thank you, Jackie. Hey, there's another level three backpack. Check him out, but let's say I want him to be able to use this command and I can type him in. You can choose how long the cooldown is for the specific command. So let's say you only want people to use it every one minute at the most frequent time, or you can choose maybe say people can only use it every 10 minutes, or you can just have no cooldown at all. You can also choose to have it on a user cooldown. So let's say Lipstick can only use this every one minute. So once the minutes pass, Lipstick can use it again. You can choose what response your bot will use in chat. I'm not gonna do anything because I'm just playing a sound file. And now you can click one of these sound files that you imported into Streamlabs chatbot. So let's just do this one. So if I submit that, you can see if I scroll down here, it's over here. It's user specific, Lipster09 can use it, and it plays the WhatsApp sound. Let's see if I type in exclamation mark good, if it works. See, it works because I am the broadcaster of the channel. The broadcaster has no limitations, but if someone else tries to use this, they won't have that sound appear. Only Lipster09 will be able to see that happen. Now, let's say you wanna delete one. So I can just select it and I can click the trash can up here and I'll just do yes. And now I've deleted that one. Now, one thing you must note, and this took a while for me to figure out, and chat kept asking me, please fix this, please fix this, and I kept trying to find it, I couldn't find it, is a global cooldown on all the commands. So there was a few streams where chat wanted to use a few different commands within the span of one or two minutes, and they had to wait a period of two minutes before they could use another command, which was a little frustrating. So to avoid a global cooldown on all your commands and all your users is you go to the settings button over here make sure you're in your commands tab and you can see over here there's the global sound user countdown its default is two so two right over there and people have to wait two minutes before they can do another command so if you want people to be able to be more frequent and, and i would just recommend to remove the countdown entirely because if i go back here I can choose, let's go, let's just edit one of these. I can choose the countdown or the cooldown over here. So frankly, this global cooldown is not very useful unless let's say all of your commands are set up and you don't want to go through every single one because you forgot to set down a cooldown. So you can go ahead and put, let's say one minute cooldown over there, but it's not as useful as using the cooldowns in here. So if I edit one of these, these cooldowns are way more specific and more useful. So if you guys enjoyed, consider leaving a like, it would really help the channel out. I really appreciate it. I measure my self-worth by the likes I get. I should get a life, shouldn't I? Also, consider subscribing. Stick around for the future. A lot of great videos coming up. Um, streaming, how to improve your streams, free downloads, stingers, transitions, face cams, all that kind of free downloads, visual effects, editing, filmmaking. But until next time, remember, keep smiling, keep shooting. Run him over.